Salawam Akim. First and foremost, we want to give our honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakai Kodash. I also want to give double honors to our apostles, the great millstone who rule well. We want to say peace and blessings, salutations to the hopefully elect. All right, I'm Zahab, and on the camera, Shakat. All right, and today we're going to go into um, just a brief uh, lesson into the pine tree, you know, which our brothers over there in Dallas did a lesson on. And first of all, you just want to pan the camera on the scenery so brothers can know where we are. We are at the Boss uh, Barnett, Ross Barnett Reservoir down here, and I want to say in Grisland, Mississippi. Okay. All right, because one of our elements within our heritage is what? Is nature, all right? Nature in itself is therapeutic, man. And it's a direct byproduct of your how about some how size creation, man. It's a break from the matrix. It's a simulated environment created by Esau for us to be robot slaves, man, economic slaves. Okay. All right? So today, once again, we're going to go into the pine tree for this week, okay? And as you can see, you have the pine tree has the bark, all right? And one thing about the pine tree, everything that it produces has a benefit. All right, whether it's the pine cone, let me find a pine cone. Whether it's the pine cone, because what does the pine cone have? Which I'm pretty sure the squirrels ate it. The pine cone produces what? The pine nut. Okay. The pine nut is very high in what? Protein. So pine nut is actually a survival food, okay? okay. This is something that God used in North America, okay? The pine cone. For the pine nut, okay? They say that a uh, pine cone can store about 100 pine nuts, okay? And from pine nut, what do you have? Pine nut oil, all right? You get an oil compressor, and you can produce pine nut oil, okay? Correct. If you buy it from the store, it's pretty expensive because it has a lot of medicinal benefits, okay? All right, so we got the pine cone, which produces the pine nut, which produces the pine nut oil, all right? And from there, another thing that the pine tree produces it's sap, sap, all right? The sap is where you get syrup, okay? All right, and the sap, it hardens into a raisin, okay? Correct. The uh, gad in, they, in North America used the sap as a gum. And as you can see, that it has a, a similar texture to that of a gum. I'm actually gonna eat a little bit. Store a little bit. I'm chewing on a gum right now, okay? So, one thing that you can put into your incense burn is the sap, all right? The sap itself has a lot of medicinal uses. One thing it can do is stop bleeding, all right? You can use it to cover a wound, okay? You can also use it to waterproof a tent, to waterproof your shoes, okay? There's a book called Wild Will Wisdom, and it shows you how God utilized the earth in every uh, aspect because the author the book Wild Wood Wisdom was actually there during I want to say the either the early 1900s or the late 1800s. He was actually observing God. Uh, he was actually observing God and how to utilize the Earth before they killed most of them. Okay. So you have the pine cone, which produces pine nuts, which produces pine nut oil, and you also have the, the pine sap, which I just picked, which is it hardens into a raisin. And uh, it could be used as an incense, all right? It could be used as a gum. Me and the brother Preacher Cock, we're, you, we're chewing on the pine sap now. Uh-huh. Now, from now, you have the bark. The innermost part of the bark has the most uh, nutrient benefits, okay? The innermost part of the bark has the most nutrient benefits, man. Okay, so we're actually picking the bark as well, okay? And... Like I said, like it says in Sirach, all things have their uses. As you can see, there are thousands of ants going up and down this tree. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason why, like the, pre the preacher Cotton said before we started the lesson. And there's a reason why. But man, even the bark, man, has a sweet odor, man. Okay. But you can actually burn the bark, okay? You can actually burn the bark as a sweet wood. And that's another that's another thing that the most high enjoys is sweet wood. Yep. Didn't I say in uh is this a rock was not the water made sweet with wood? What is that wood? It's the, the water that was going through the, the passageways, which is by the tree, man. Like the riverbanks had the trees planted by the waters. All right, and the minerals of the trees seep into the waters. Okay? All right, so from there, 
you have on the ground, if you just pan the camera on the ground, you have pine needles. All right? So we went from the pine cone to the pine nut, the pine nut oil to the uh, pine sap mm -hmm. to the pine needles. Oh. And back in the day, I think it was the other Yashawama that pointed it out. You actually smell pine needles, man. We can't really smell it now because Esau destroyed the earth. That's right. Okay? But the pine needle is rich in vitamin A, vitamin C. All right? You can steep the pine needle into a tea. That's right. And make a, uh, a medicinal tea good for the immune system and many more uh, benefits. Okay. Okay? Yep. Um, also going into the pine needles, like the brother was mentioning about you make it, you steep it into a tea. And... As doing that, it's good for like cataracts. I read up on cause it has carotenoids in it, which is an antioxidant, which cures uh, cataracts, uh, macular uh, degeneration, you know, uh, problems with your eyes. So it pretty much it strengthens your um, your eye vision, you know. So, huh. Yep. You're right. Yeah. Con. Con. So there was this one video I watched over there in France where they actually got a nail and they punched a hole in the tree and sap started coming out. Man. You know, but the the tree is actually a living uh, entity, man. Mm -hmm. Got a little sap right here. Sorry, ants. All right. Got a bunch of ants in my back on my hand. But yeah, got a little sap. I might burn it. I might eat it. Right. But the tree is actually a living organism, and the bark of the tree is like into the skin on your arm. Right. All right, and if you peel the skin back of the bark, and you punch the um the hole in the tree, it's like it's like bleeding. It's like it's like as though it's bleeding. Yep. But that sap is like the blood of the tree. Okay. All right. That precept, bro. Got it. Go ahead. All right, this is Sirach 38 and 5. Was not the water made sweet with wood, that the virtue thereof might be known. Hey, the water made sweet with wood, and what's that wood, man? The, the, those those trees that has that sweet bark, that sweet wood. All right, whether it's a cedar tree, all right, in this case, the pine tree. Mm. All right, we have to be trained not to look at things in vain, like they're just things that's just here for decoration. No, they all have a medicinal use, man. Purposely given to us by the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Sunday mm. Okay. Okay, um... And just um, bring out like a precept, just uh, pine, you know, that's, you know, that's the numbers of our, you know, nation, you know. Huh. And uh, this is Leviticus, so like in Nehemiah 8 and 15. And they, and that, they shall publish and proclaim in all their cities in Jerusalem, saying, go forth into the mount and fetch olive branches and pine branches and myrtle branches and palm branches and branches of thick trees to make booths as it is written. You know, just to show how beneficial pine trees and all the rest of those uh, trees they name are beneficial to us, man. Kind. You know? Beneficial to the nation of Israel. Kind. All right, so we have to stop going to Esau for every little thing when we go straight to nature, which nature is the most size of pocket to read, man. Kind. All right, that's the position in itself, is nature. But you any uh, other things you want to bring out, brother? Yeah, just harping back on the pine tree. Uh, it's another uh, thing I came across. It was just saying how you know you was going to how it's, it's real good for like uh, building your immune system. Done. Yeah. So we like we said in our previous video, the more oxygenation or oxygen you have in your body, it's hard for cancer to thrive in that body. Called cancer hates oxygen. Done. Okay. So. And going to this pine tree, and you know, you can just, there's so many things you can do with it, like with the bark, with the pine needles, with the pine cones, whatever, make a tea out of. It says it improves circulation. The organic compounds in pine needle tea can help to kick your circulatory system into gear and increase your production of red blood cells, thereby increasing oxygenation to your body's organ systems, boosting energy levels, and preventing anemia which is a very common condition characterized by unexplained fatigue, muscle soreness, and cognitive impairment. And uh, with that being said, I also read that it stimulates the adrenal glands. So that's heavy as hell because if you realize, if you feel like you have a low libido or you, you're not yeah. 
uh, energetic in the daytime, part of that could be a uh, poor uh, adrenal glands or adrenal fatigue. Okay. So I think based on what I read the other day, pine uh, pine needles stimulate your adrenal glands, man. Okay. Which your adrenal glands is if you you if you have poor adrenal glands, then that's gonna have a ripple effect on your hormone production mm -hmm. or on everything, man. Okay. So, anything else you want to bring up, brother? Nah, that was it right there, bro. Well, hey, with that, I hope you brothers are edified.